This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some major update to share with you. The Treasury Secretary admits that she was wrong about inflation. Meanwhile, President Biden's inflation plan not being taken too positively by everybody. I'll give you the Republican perspective of what they think about President Biden's inflation plan. Top Sanders aide calls Joe Manchin a phony because he is not lowering the price of drugs. And I'll let you know which states are giving out stimulus checks in the month of June. I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So Top Sanders aide calls Manchin a phony on lowering drug prices. So Democrats and Bernie Sanders have been trying to lower the price of drugs for many, many years, but it seems that pharmaceutical lobbyists just keep getting in the way. So what Sanders aide said here is, what a phony. The reason we failed to keep our promises to seniors is because Senator Joe Manchin sabotaged the Build Back Better Act and refuses to end the filibuster. In Joe's world, protecting filibuster is more important than protecting seniors. No wonder billionaires love him. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Disagree? Are you for Manchin? Are you for Sanders? Are you for both? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Moving on, the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen admits being wrong about path of inflation while Biden supports Fed. I think everybody last year thought Inflation was just a temporary thing. It's not going to last uh, on both sides of the aisle. I don't think anyone thought it was going to last this long, but here's what she said here. I think I was wrong then about the path that inflation would take. As I mentioned, there have been unanticipated and large shocks to the economy that have boosted energy and food prices and supply bottlenecks that have affected our economy badly that I didn't at the time fully understand. So got to admit that is pretty big of Janet Yellen to admit that she was wrong. Very few politicians actually do that. But uh, that being said, is there anything else that can be done at this moment besides admitting that they were wrong or that she was wrong? I don't know if other politicians admitted that. But let me know your thoughts on that. Meanwhile, President Biden's inflation plan came out. So he touts inflation plan as uh, costs rise. So this inflation plan hasn't really been taken too positively, but I'll let you know what's in that inflation plan and then I'll give you the Republican perspective. First, here's President Biden's inflation plan. President Biden declaring once again, inflation is his top priority. He said the same thing just a few weeks ago, but it doesn't feel to most Americans like much has changed. Fuel and food prices have climbed, but this time the president is promising Americans relief is on the way. In an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal, the president wrote, the Federal Reserve has a primary responsibility to control inflation. I have appointed highly qualified people from both parties to lead that institution. I agree with their assessment that fighting inflation is our top economic challenge right now. Today, Mr. Biden met with the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, to discuss the inflation. Chair Powell and other leaders of the Fed have noted at this moment they have a laser focus on addressing inflation, just like I am. But it's still not clear what steps the president plans to take exactly to get prices back down. CBC senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche live in our Washington newsroom. Kayla. Shep, President Biden and his top officials have said the strategy is to let the Federal Reserve raise interest rates as much as it needs. That makes it more expensive to get loans so consumers buy less and prices fall. But in the years since the president and his top central banker first met, inflation, already high back then, has continued to climb. As Jerome Powell awaited the nomination to and confirmation for a second term at the Fed, the latter of which happened only recently. Today's meeting comes as Mr. Biden now weighs a handful of policies that could have a mixed impact on prices, like a much slimmed down version of his Build Back Better social and climate package funded by tax increases, a rollback of tariffs on Chinese goods, and a $10,000 student loan forgiveness for borrowers. Ahead of the midterm elections, though, some of these policies may prove to be a double-edged sword. They're largely popular among voters, but voters also say their top worry is high inflation. While some economists say more government spending like that will make it worse, White House economic adviser Brian Deese today argued it would help overall. The more progress that we can make in lowering costs and making things more affordable for families right now, the more progress we can make in building on the historic deficit reduction we've already seen this year, uh, then the, the better off we'll be, the better positioned we'll be to actually see that uh, moderation happen more quickly. 
South Carolina Congressman Jim Clyburn, whose endorsement rescued Mr. Biden's flagging campaign in 2020, told NBC News that confluence of crises remains problematic for the president's approval rating, saying, quote, I don't know what's required here, but I do know the poll numbers have been stuck where they are for far too long. The administration has argued the U.S. can tackle inflation from a position of economic strength, but so far, that message isn't landing. Shep? What are your thoughts? Is this a good plan, bad plan? Is this inflation plan going to lower the costs of everything, fuel, food, and everything else in our life that has gone up in price? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. So when it comes to the Republican perspective, Biden's new transition economy is just Build Back Better 3.0. Republicans not buying it. Uh, really curious about your thoughts on this. Take a look at the Republican perspective and let me know if you agree or disagree. Here's the Wash uh, Wall Street Journal headline, the Jackie just referred to Joe Biden, my plan for fighting inflation subheader. I won't meddle with the Fed, but I will tackle high prices while guiding the economy's transition to stable and steady growth. You read the piece. What's your takeaway? I think it's a cover your posterior, posterior piece. This is, an, uh, this is not a serious plan. Uh, let's look at it. The main point is, he says, the primary responsibility for dealing with inflation is the Federal Reserve. In other words, it's not my fault, not my responsibility. It's the Federal Reserve's. And then I got practical steps that are going to reduce costs. We're going to do something about supply chains. Haven't you been doing that for a year and a half? We're going to do infrastructure. Didn't we pass a bill on that last year? We're going to build one million homes over the next five years. We have 142 million homes in America today. Why is adding seven tenths of one percent of homes over the next ten over the next five years, paid for with taxpayer dollars, going to reduce the cost of housing? We're going to have price controls on drugs. We're going to have child and elder care. In other words, we got Build Back Better. We got this five trillion dollar sold it at three and a half trillion dollar spending bill that's what he's talking about and then finally he says we are involved in deficit reduction now he subtly admits that most of the so-called deficit reduction is we didn't repeat the the COVID stimulus bills that we had in March of 2020 and December of 2020. And by not repeating those, we're reducing the size of the annual federal deficit. But the national debt continues to go up. And what's his answer to that? Raise taxes. We're going to raise taxes on American companies to match the levels in foreign company, countries, thereby making our companies less competitive. And we're going to raise taxes on the people who, who have more money because, as, as he says in his article, they ought to pay as much as their secretaries do. But this is, he says, I want an open, an honest discussion, but that's not what he wants. He wants a political talking point to say, I got a plan, maybe doesn't make sense, maybe not going to deal with it. And, and it so happens that it appears on the same day as this devastating headline in the Washington Post. U.S. policymakers misjudge inflation threat until it was too late. I printed it off. It's 13 pages long and lists all of the mistakes that the Biden administration made, starting with its big spending in last year and then all of its attempts to, to ignore the inflation as it grew to its 40-year high in December. Wow. Um, strong there. Back on the piece. I will work with anyone, he writes, Democrat, Republican or Independent. Anyone willing to have an open and honest discussion that delivers real solutions for the American people. That's in the Wall Street Journal piece today. I take you back, what, just a couple weeks ago, was the Washington Post uh, with regard to the Republican tax plan. Uh, they said we re reaffirm our rating of three, nearly four <laughs> Pinocchios. Pinocchios. So th th they weren't buying that, Carl. No, no, no. In that same paragraph, what, he's, what you're alluding to is in that same paragraph in Biden's column, he once again says Senator Rick Scott's plan is the Republican plan, and he wants to raise taxes on everybody making less than $100,000 a year, or in, in, all Republicans do, and the Republicans want to cut Medicare, Social Security, and, 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 and Medicaid. So, it, 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 honest and uh, honest and open discussion. Let's start by telling something that won him three Pinocchios from the Washington Post, which is hardly, uh, you know, a, a right wing rag. So, no, no, this was this was, as I said, a CYA piece. Cover okay. your posterior. So the president says, "I've got I, I, I've got a plan," but he doesn't have got a plan. CYP, I think, is what they call that. Quickly, um, uh, l last week we, we saw. A slowdown, if you want to call that that of inflation, three tenths of a point. Yeah, it is really hard to know what inflation is going to do. Okay, so yeah, I, look, I, I don't it, know how it, you it, answer it, that, but also, how often do you have an Oval Office meeting with the Commander in Chief and the head of the Federal Reserve, who basically works right next door? 
Yeah. Well, first of all, let's be clear. Last month's inflation went down two tenths of a percent compared to the previous month, and that was driven by a 5.8 percent decline in energy prices, which we know went back up in May. So let, let's we've not paid, peaked. This is maybe plateaued, but we'll have to see one month from now. I bet you a dime to a dollar that the inflation rate in May is higher than 6.3 percent. So we're plateaued. Maybe if we're lucky, we've plateaued. We haven't peaked. And 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 again, today meeting with the Fed chairman is is what I'm going to in his op-ed. He says I'm going to honor the independence of the Fed, but I'm going to have him come in and meet with me so I can show like I'm doing something. No, baloney. Thank you, Carl. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you agree, disagree? Uh, are you half and half? Uh, what do you think about President Biden's inflation plan? What do you think about the Republicans' perspective? Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, next, let's get into stimulus check update. These states will send out payments in June. So we have a few states giving out money. So it looks like Maine and New Mexico. So first round of $850 stimulus checks going out to Maine residents, uh, those who have filed their 2021 state tax income returns. So $850 there. And then New Mexico, yesterday was actually the deadline, May 31st, which I did mention. And then uh, 250 for singles and $500 for joint filers. So those are going to go out in June now that they've received all of the uh, tax returns and everything like that. So, so far for the month of June, looks like Maine and New Mexico. And then there's a bunch of other states like California, Minnesota, Colorado, Kansas, Hawaii, and Pennsylvania that are considering other types of stimulus pr proposals not passed into law yet, but I'll keep you updated on that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella for the tip of the day and I'm going to be telling you that you always need to have fun at the playground or at anything. You need to have fun with yourself and enjoy yourself how you are right now because the day after it won't be around so you have to enjoy the day first. Bye! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your time, all of your support. Everything is good with us. Hope everything is good with you. I'm gonna go play a little bit of pickleball today. My favorite thing ever. Uh, if you wanna check out any videos on my other channels, you could click up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.